Good morning everyone, or if it's not morning, then good evening or good afternoon. So today we'll be talking about non-equilibrium properties of PN junctions. Uh, in the previous module, we discussed a PN junction under equilibrium. So now we'll use what we learned in that previous module or video to examine how PN junctions behave under non-equilibrium conditions. Specifically, we'll be tackling what happens when you apply an external voltage or an applied voltage onto our PN junctions. So there are two ways that your PN junction can go into uh, non-equilibrium. You can uh, apply a voltage or what we call a bias across the junction. Or we can illuminate the junction as such as in the case of your uh, photoelectric devices like solar cells. Under bias, what would happen is that a net current would be formed in the PN junction. Since the, uh, the uh, addition of the bias would uh, imbalance the current, the drift and diffusion currents. Also, the internal electric field, the voltage, charge distribution, energy band profile will change with respect with response to this bias. So because a PN junction is non-symmetrical in nature, maritime direction in which a current can flow, as we can see in the diode, uh, the response will be different depending on the direction of the bias applied. So shown here is the sign convention for our external voltage and current in the PN junction. So if we have a PN junction where P type yung nasa left side and type yung nasa right side, Yung current mo will flow from P to N. Yung in, uh, built-in potential natin, this is from here to here. Remember, dito sa N-type natin, meron tayo ng mga positive charges due to the donor na ionized. And dito sa kabila, you have your acceptor na ionized. Kaya dito positive to negative. Then if we're talking about applying... Uh, bias, forward bias. If you have a forward bias application, ang nangyayari is your positive side is applied in the P-type and yung negative na potential mo is applied in the N-type. Or mas mataas, yung ina-apply natin na potential sa P-side than your N-side. So that's your forward bias. P has the positive potential, N has the negative potential. Meanwhile, pag meron naman tayong uh, reverse bias, pag reverse bias tayo, so notice with uh, red. Sa P side natin tayo nag apply ng negative and sa N side tayo nag apply na positive. When we are in the forward bias condition, uh, what happens is that we are, our applied potential is positive. And by that we mean we apply our potential positive in the P type and in the N type negative siya. Ganyan. So the potential difference across this junction will then be yung V0 minus V natin. V0 minus V. This reduces the potential barrier across our junction. So baba ba yung potential barrier natin? Due to this decrease in the potential barrier, the electric field will also decrease. Which would lead to the narrowing of our space charge region or the depletion region. Since the space charge region or the depletion region narrowed, ang mangyayari dyan is mas maliit yung barrier na kailangan tawirin ng ating electrons and ng holes para makarating to the other side. So si holes, mas maliit na yung barrier niya, yung positive dito, mas malaki na yung chance na mapag-diffuse siya to the n-type region. Same for the electrons, mas, ma mas maliit na tong barrier na to, mas malaki na yung chance na makapag-flow track siya to the other side. So by decreasing the space charge region, what happens is we're increasing the diffusion current. Increasing diffusion current natin since this is maraming electrons, konting electrons. So decrease sila dito and dito. And yung chances na mag-recombine sila with here is decreased due to the limit ng yung depletion region natin. So increasing diffusion current basically increases the current this lets electricity to flow. The 
yung diffusion current natin, we can also think of it as if we are injecting uh, minority carriers from one side of the junction to the other. So by that we mean, let's look at this electron. Yung electron na to, pag pinunta natin siya pamunta sa P, sa P side ng ating, ating semiconductor or ng ating BN junction, pagkapas siya dito, sa N-type side mo yung electron, it is still a majority carrier. But once it passes through the junction and when it goes to the P side, mangyari is we have now the electron as a minority carrier. Since sa P-type natin, mas konting electrons than your holes. So what is happening is we're injecting minority carriers onto the other side of the junction. So ang ating PN junctions, these are actually minority carrier devices. So by that, we mean yung ating current is produced by the movement of minority carriers. So dito, yung current mo is movement of the electron in the P side, holes on the N side, which are minority carriers. Another way to examine yung ating forward bias phenomena is by using the energy band profile of a PN junction. So for electrons to diffuse from the n-type side to the p-type side, so let's look here, we have electrons dito, pupunta siya dito. So for electrons to move from here to here, dapat meron tayong energy levels na kaya mag-accept nitong electrons na to. So alam natin itong band gap na to, forbidden energy yan, so, and para mag-conduct yung electrons from here to here, dapat makapunta siya dun sa energy levels ng conduction band din dito sa P-type region mo. Kasi nga, kailangan na sa conduction band yung electrons mo para, well, mag-conduct siya. Pag wala tayong band bending, ang mangyayari is mas mataas yung energy level na kailangan marating itong electrons na to from here papunta dito sa P-type region mo. So, ito yung energy na yan. This is your energy pag wala kang... Uh, external bias is Q, V naught. But once we apply external bias, mangyari is mare-reduce itong band bending natin by V na mangyari, ito na lang siya, yung hanggang dito. So since reduce natin itong band bending natin, ang nangyari is na-reduce yung height na kailangan tawirin ni electron from here papunta dun sa conduction band this time. Pag nasababa yung energy, since we lowered yung energy requirement ni, N, ni electron from n-type to p-type, mas madali siyang makakapag-travel, easier to conduct yung ating electrons from the n-type to the p-type region. Mas madali siyang makakapag-cross through this junction since the energy requirement is lower. Similarly to our holes, from the p-type to the n-type region, ang kailangan niyang puntahan ng energy is yung nandito. We're reducing the barrier to energy. Pupunta dito. Just like, shoop. So one analog that we can look at it is if we imagine that your electrons are balls and your holes are balloons. So if your electrons are balls, mas madali mag-roll ang bola up a shallow slope than a steep slope. So if we apply an external potential, what we're doing uh, when we're applying forward bias um, I correct myself, a forward bias, ang mangyayari is magiging mas shallow yung slope, mas madaling makapag-roll yung bola mo over to the other side, which would cause conduction, better conduction. Similarly, to our balloons here or our holes, para mapunta siya sa other side, pag mas malipis or mas hindi matarek yung ceiling natin, mas madali siya makapag-transfer from here to here. So essentially, when we have forward bias, Forward bias, ang mangyari is we'll have an increase in our conduction due to the movement of these charge carriers. Now, let's look at the reverse bias condition. So, under reverse bias, the applied potential now is negative. So, by being negative, hindi siya nega. Ang mangyari is yung ating positive potential is applied in the n-type region and yung negative potential natin is applied at the p-type region. 
this is v. So what will happen is we'll actually increasing. We're increasing our potential difference or our potential barrier across this junction. So applying the similar analysis to this that is a forward bias condition, what will happen is we'll see that we will actually have an increase. We'll have an increase in the space charge region of our system. So due to the increase of the space charge region or of our um, or of our depletion region, lalaki to, mangyayari is lalaki yung barrier or our electrons in our holes to diffuse from one side to the other. Since mas marami na yung nag-repel, kunyari kay electron mula dito, mas marami negative charges siya na kailangan tawirin para makakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakakak
or this is equal to n negative x p and p so makita natin dito p n and p these are your minority carrier concentrations so we can get the minority carrier concentrations from this equation and this will be equal to exponential of qv over kvt the diode equation also known as the diode law describes the iv characteristics of an ideal diode in either forward or reverse bias so take note ideal so not a real world diode for a pn junction the diode equation would be equal to this one i total which is the current of the passing through our diode or our pn junction will be equal to i naught exponential of qv over kvt minus 1 where v this is your bias voltage or ito yung apply natin sa ating pn junction and meron dito yung term dito yung i naught your i naught is what we call your saturation current and this saturation current i naught is the function of the diffusivity diffusion length and the uh, carrier concentration the minority carrier concentrations of our p-type and n-type semiconductors in the pn junction so i naught will be equal to q a dp over lp pn plus dn ln over uh, ln times np so if we graph itong diode equation natin this one here we'll get a graph that looks something like hopefully i can draw straight yes this so this is i and this is v this is positive v so this is a forward bias region natin negative bias region natin from the equation at zero if zero to voltage natin this will become zero this exponential of zero is one minus one zero Dito siya. for the forward bias condition here so exponential of something and since exponential yan pag tumaas yung voltage yung makita natin it will rise exponentially so meanwhile sa reverse bias condition this will be really low so approach zero so magiging negative one na siya negative nung i naught it will uh, it will approach a value negative i naught like so so the blue line this is your forward bias and the red line naman natin, this is your reverse bias condition. So nakita natin, so forward bias condition natin, forward bias, uh, we have, do 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 do, so forward bias condition natin, we have seemingly infinite conductivity. So pag, Forward bias tayo, usually ang behavior ng ating PN junction or ng ating diode is that it would act as if it is a wire. Like so. Or ang tawag natin dito is a closed switch. Kasi naka-close yung switch. So, ganito siya. Meanwhile, pag naka-reverse bias tayo, makita natin that the resistance, it is as if we have infinite resistance. Or it's approaching infinite resistivity. Our diode has very, very little current, and it would act as if it is an open switch. So by open switch, wala kang connection. So there is little current flow happening in the reverse bias direction. So the reverse bias connection, condition, so reverse bias mode, this current, for the ideal case, this would approach value of I0. Or your saturation current. So the saturation current is the maximum current that a diode can achieve at the reverse bias condition at infinite, infinite voltage, infinite negative voltage.